what are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my ranking for all five movies in the Jurassic Park franchise. Um, I've recently reviewed all five movies on my channel, so I'm going to go ahead and do my ranking. Uh, I'm not going to include the short film Battle at Big Rock since it's not a theatrical movie, but when I get to the point where if I would have it on my ranking, I'll tell you where it would be. Um, and I haven't seen Camp Cretaceous, so I'm not going to have that on here because plus it's a TV show I'm just sticking with movies and stuff so uh, that one won't be on here either but I'll go ahead and get going my number five is Jurassic Park 3 this is easily my least favorite out of the franchise it just is not very good um, the the cast in here are pretty annoying uh, I like William H. Macy and T Leone, a lot, they're really great actors, but they are very annoying in this movie, their characters and everything, um, and, like, really besides Alan Grant, uh, the only other really good person in here that I really liked was Michael Jeter's character, and he dies, like, really quickly into the movie, so, uh, that was really annoying, Alan Grant's really pretty much the only one throughout the whole movie that doesn't get on my nerves really bad and well and uh, Ellie Sattler but she's only in here for about five minutes throughout the whole movie and I was disappointed about her not being like in the movie throughout the whole thing and everything because I remember as a kid I was really looking forward to seeing her back and she just went hardly in it and th this movie just it, it was good but it could have been so much better um, and everything and it's still my least favorite in the franchise that being said I do still enjoy it and I don't mind watching it if I'm watching the whole franchise it doesn't really it, it doesn't bother me to watch it then but it's just not going to be one that if I'm watching a Jurassic movie I'm not it's not going to be one of the ones that I just choose to watch um, and everything so it's easily number five and number four is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, this movie is alright. It just was a huge disappointment though. When I saw it in the theater the first time, I was very disappointed with this movie. I thought it could have been so much better. It has its moments and everything, and it is entertaining sometimes, but I just. Uh, I think they showed way too much in the trailers and TV spots. They pretty much ruined the entire ending of the movie and stuff. So, so I thought that was really stupid and uh, some of the stuff that happens in here is really dumb like, like finding out Macy is a clone that didn't really bother me I know a lot of people absolutely hate hated that plot twist but it didn't really bother me I just thought it was dumb that they didn't do much with it but maybe maybe it'll play more into the next movie I don't know if it will or not but maybe they'll maybe they'll go more into talking about that in the next one uh, but I, I didn't like that she let the dinosaurs out. It's like, like yeah, those dinosaurs were gonna die, but they could have brought more back. It's not like they, like they didn't have the this technology. They could have brought more back and stuff. And it's not like the dinosaurs would have fully gone extinct for good. I know a lot of people said they would, but uh, no, nah, I don't think they would have. They they could have brought them back. Uh, but then again, it also sets up Jurassic World 3, which hopefully will be a much better movie and will redeem this franchise and maybe even redeem this movie. Maybe, maybe all the stuff that this movie leads into will make it better and everything like some sequels do that. Now, hopefully this will be one of the ones that it's like that with, but yeah, so Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is number four and, uh, Number three is, before I get into my number three, uh, I was going to mention Battle of Big Rock. This would would have been my number four if I put it on the ranking. Uh, I absolutely love this short. It is really, really great. And uh, I didn't do a review for it since it's only 
really short, so I'll go ahead and do a little mini review for it. But it, I think it's really awesome. The acting in here is really great. Uh, it has like a blended family that uh, are vacationing in the woods, and uh, a couple of Triceratops show up, and then this Allosaurus shows up to fight them, and they're caught in the crossfire of these this, and then their baby starts crying everything right as the Triceratops escape and then the Allosaurus starts attacking their their camper and uh, it's just a really really intense short really awesome and then we kind of get to see a little bit of stuff with dinosaurs during the credits doing doing different stuff and how it's affecting the world uh, and really gets me pumped for Jurassic World Dominion and everything but uh, it was a really really great short and I would have gave it a, a 8 out of 10 for sure it's really great and it's definitely better than my bottom two entries in this ranking I, I liked it a lot more than than uh, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and uh, Jurassic Park 3 so it's pretty sad that an 8 minute short can be better than both of those um, but yeah, so if I were to have it in this ranking, it would be number four and everything. So that's my thoughts on B Battle at Big Rock. And now back on to the list, uh, number three is... The Lost World Jurassic Park. Um, this one was pretty good. I, I love that Steven Spielberg came back, at least for this sequel. And it is still really fun it still has a lot of intense moments and stuff but it's just not as fun as the first movie um, of course it, it the first movie was really hard to follow anyway though I think a lot of people expected too much out of this movie and I, I know I did when I saw it the first time I expected it to be bigger and better than the first one and it is bigger technically there are two t-rexes and the story does seem a lot bigger, the dinosaurs are on screen a lot more, but that doesn't make the movie better. I personally enjoy the the first one a whole lot more, obviously, like most people do, but it is still a, a good movie. It, it has its moments and stuff like the T-Rex attacking the camper scene was really great, and the like the scene when the entire group is together and they're camping and stuff trying to trying to get some rest before they have to finish making their way to the island the next day and the t-rex the shows up in the camp and chases them that that scene was awesome and the rampage scene in san diego i know a lot of people hate it and stuff but i enjoyed that too it didn't bother me as bad as as it does with most people and so yeah, I'd say this one is alright. It just isn't one of my most favorites. So, The Lost World Jurassic Park is number three. And number two is Jurassic World. Um, when I first heard about this movie, I was, I was somewhat excited because I did love the first three and was looking forward to a fourth one in a way. But at the same time, I was also like, the third one was pretty pretty bad I don't see what bringing it back with a bunch of new characters that we don't know or care about and how it's gonna work and everything and then I saw this movie and it totally uh, redeemed the franchise and it was just a really really fun movie the biggest surprise of the summer that year for me I did not expect to enjoy this movie near as much as I did and uh, everything it was really intense and seeing it in the theater everything was awesome and I, it it gave me that feeling that I had when I saw the first Jurassic Park like how intense it was and stuff and how much I cared about the characters I was like man this is easily the best movie in the franchise since the first one and it probably is gonna remain really high on my ranking I'm hoping Dominion will be able to top it but I don't know if it will but Colin Trevorrow was a very very great choice to direct this movie he came up with a really great story and he was handpicked by Steven Spielberg because of his ideas and stuff so uh, I think that, that was awesome and I really enjoyed this movie a lot now I know Spielberg offered 
to let Joe Johnson direct the third one, but that movie just did not turn out near as good as it as it should have been. Um, but this one, this one really made up for Jurassic Park three, and uh, I still enjoy this one a lot. I, I no, it did really good in the box office, but people don't talk about it as much. I think it's just down to the fact that it's a sequel to one of the sequels, and most people, when they, when they talk about the Jurassic movies, they only talk about the first one. And I can get it, but this movie is really good, so it's easily my number two. But of course, coming in at number one is Jurassic Park. Um, this is one of the greatest movies of all time. I just absolutely love this movie. It's one of my favorite Spielberg movies. So when I get to my ranking and I have rank every movie he's directed and stuff, you'll be seeing this one really high on that ranking. Uh, but I just absolutely love this movie. It's one of the best movies that like builds up the tension and stuff. Like they they tease you and stuff with the T Rex, and when it finally does show up and pays off, it just is. Is amazing and the the second and third acts of this movie are just really really entertaining yeah, I just absolutely love this movie I think it's a, a blast from start to finish the characters are great the dinosaurs look amazing they hold up really well 27 years later uh, and it just is really really great movie one of the best movies ever made and easily my number one but anyway, let me know in the comments how you rank the Jurassic Park franchise. If if you want, you can just tell me your favorite and least favorite. I know most people will probably have the same number one as me. If you have a different number one, I'd be interested to see which one it is. Um, I'd be very surprised if it's Jurassic Park 3 but or Fallen Kingdom. But if it is, uh, that's cool. Um, our lists aren't always going to be the same. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day, everybody.